Hey everybody, uh, I passed 400 subscribers, and praise the Lord, <laughs> uh, thank you, thanks for listening to my videos, and uh, I've been connected with uh, some great brothers and sisters in Christ uh, through this YouTube channel, and I had some great great fellowship with people on the phone the last few weeks too and um so <laughs> you know i just want to encourage everybody to stay steadfast in the faith um you know remember what is fundamental and, um, you know, the Jesus Christ and his glorious gospel. And, uh, let us continue to earnestly contend for the faith. Um, may God use us for his glory. And let us remember that. God has given us the responsibility to be ambassadors for Christ and to give people. You know, we we have the ministry of reconciliation, and that's a great honor that God wants us to tell people about His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and what Jesus Christ did it for everybody and uh, God wants to use believers um, to tell the lost about Jesus Christ so that they could be reconciled uh, onto God and so that they could be saved and Remember that most people you run into your life aren't saved. And um, there's a lot of false prophets out there. And uh, a lot of people that are just deceived by false prophets and they just start repeating stuff. And so they, though deceived, they, they become deceivers as well, inadvertently even. Um, but uh, believers we're, we're here to shine light onto this world and to to show them Jesus Christ to show them the need for the Savior and you know if you believe the gospel then you're equipped to preach the gospel. You know, and if you're nervous about it, remember that how you got saved, how you put your faith in Jesus Christ, that you believe that he paid for all your sins. And, um, that it's a free gift, and, you know, that, Tell that to others, you know, to tell them about the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And um, also, if you're not good with, um, you know, knowing verses and stuff, um, you know, just start with John chapter 3. If you know John chapter 3 really well, um, you can give a pretty good explanation, simple presentation of the gospel, okay? Um, you know, John chapter 3, Jesus says that we have to be born again. Um, and then, you know, Jesus mentions to Nicodemus about the, the serpent, the Moses lifting up the, the serpent in the wilderness, and 
It's that story in the in the Old Testament where the children of Israel out in the wilderness that they were bitten by these poisonous snakes and they were going to die unless they looked up at this uh, rod of a brazen serpent on it and uh, you know if they didn't look to that they would they would die and uh, that literally happened in the Old Testament but it's it was also a symbolic picture of Jesus Christ because, um, you know, Jesus Christ was made a curse for us on the cross. He who knew no sin became sin for us so that we might have, you know, his, so we could have his righteousness in, in, imputed onto us. So, you know, the, the, that brazen serpent represents... Uh, sin on the cross and yeah Jesus Christ wasn't a sinner but again he had our sins imputed onto him when he was on the cross so that we may have his righteousness imputed onto us if uh, we believe the gospel okay and just as the, the children of Israel did in the in the wilderness all they had to do was look at that brazen serpent you know us to be saved, we 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 look upon Jesus Christ, and uh, we we acknowledged what He did on the cross, right? That He actually did pay it all. That He actually is who He says He is. He's the Savior. And uh, Jesus said in John three fifteen that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Or, excuse me, eternal life. Another word for eternal life is everlasting. And the famous John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If we continue reading, it says, For God sent not sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but th that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Because you know what? Jesus Christ is the great physician. And, uh, he's here to make us whole and um, you know our, our our sin condemns us to hell but Jesus Christ came to the world to save sinners God doesn't want us to go to hell God loves us um, that's why God gave his only begotten son to die in our place to pay for all our sins to be buried, to rise again on the third day for our justification and to prove that Jesus Christ indeed uh, is the Savior, that He indeed is the Messiah. And, um, you know, what? what's the condemnation? It says in verse 19, this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. That's something Jesus Christ said while he was on earth. He said that the deeds of men are evil. And uh, verse 20, For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. And, uh, you know... People had Jesus Christ crucified because he called them out on their hypocrisies and they couldn't stand it. They wanted to justify themselves and they thought that they were holy and self-righteous. But ignorant of God's righteousness, they went about and tried to establish their own righteousness 
and went as far as to crucify Christ. Men's supposed best crucified Christ, okay? And uh, the Bible says in John 3.36, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not on the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. If we put our faith in Jesus Christ, we'll have everlasting life right now. And if God's able to give us everlasting life, how long would it last for? It's everlasting life. It's once saved, always saved. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thine house.